right italy ho sports fans here we are back on the road this time on the big rock bog lap oh oh and that that's a, um that was that was appropriate <laughs> oh pop, jesus pop that one. how many years have we been driving hey, a manual dazza still can't drive a manual anyway i'm still learning <laughs> 50,000 k's and still What a best learning. way to learn, Bart. Just get out there and do it. We are now hitting Leonora and we just thought we'd do a bit of filming because when we turn this corner, we're on, oh no. Well, when we turn this corner and go up about 500 meters, we're on new road. So that means we could put another extra red line on our map. So we've just turned right onto the, what will eventually become the Great Central Road. It's paved and it's called something else until it gets to Laverton. But then from there it's officially the Great Central Road. But from about here somewhere. We have we've been up to Leonora before, which is near well, it exists because of the Gualia mine, which is still quite a lucrative mine. Um, interesting fun fact, Edgar J. Hoover, who was the American president, the US president was the mine manager of Gualia Mine way back when, before he was the US president. But you know and shit, then, Winnie. I do know shit. Um, and then I oh, did some stuff. He fell in love with a girl in Kalgoorlie. He bought a fancy mirror for her that's still in, in one of the hotels in town at the Palace Hotel. And then he went to America and became the president. Not exactly like that, but yeah, that's kind of Leonora's claim to fame. But from this point, we are now on uncharted territory for us and oh there's camels oh it's a camel farm so that's why there's camels um they're not wild and there's signs on that area that says live firing so uh, i guess it's a gun club um yeah so this is the start <laughs> of our new red line we're going to be finding a place to go and put the detector on the ground soon so that should be exciting I'm gonna have to go back and get that gearbox. I uh, left it back there at um, at Leonora. It's a pretty exciting road. Pretty much looks like most of the other roads. But stay tuned. We'll be updating as much as we can with our adventures this time because we feel like it's pretty exciting. And yeah, we will be winding our way in a couple of days to that great big rock in the middle of the country. So we'll see what we can see. Stay tuned. Okay, Bogsters, uh, here we are just outside of Laverton. And just thought I'd give you, you know, just stopping for lunch, and just thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown of our setup. Alrighty, yeah. so what we've got in this area here, we have the, the, we've got all our luggage and bits and pieces, and we've got all our snacks and stuff, and all our bits and pieces fit in the console so we've got keys and bits and pieces in there and also we have shoes under there we've got our headlamps in there we've got our first aid kit right there all right okay now we move to the the back of the vehicle of big owl that's called owl because of that all right, okay, so we're just stopping for lunch here, and we're, um, we've got our Kingsley fridge set up there. So in the back there, we've got our chairs ready to access. And also we have uh, some of the panning gear for for the, you know, looking for rocks and stuff. So our water, water set up there. She slides pretty easily in there, and it can lock in. But it sort of locks in. We've got a little lock under there to lock it in. Also, we've also got a um, our slide slide drawers. We've got set up there with our tools in place. So she slides in and out. So we've got it all sectioned into beautifully designed compartments that Winnie did and in there we have 
all out. Yeah, bits and pieces, saws and axes and other bits and pieces. And as we move there, we've got our fuel attached and our box set up with all the food. All the food compartments there. We've got our shitter on top, spare wheel. We've got our another another lot of fuel, extra diesel, and underneath so our kitchen sort of kitchen comes out, and underneath we've just got all our other other stuff stored away, tables and bits and pieces. gas bottles and inside that one we have our just all our barbecue barbecue gear and that little wing winged little cupboard area as well and it's the tray slides out and that's a snapshot of our setup Hi. Super cool, quick little story about this photo. Out in the middle of absolutely nowhere, where it looks like no human has ever been, we come across this super handy dandy case looking thing that works perfectly, has all these little divisions in it, and had a truckload of O rings kicking around all around the side of it. So we are just um, grateful and accepting it as a gift from the gods. As the serenity. Hang on, boxers. Day one. Oh, I don't know if you could say it's coming to a close because it's only five o'clock, but the sun is sort of. Um, going down so that means we've got to get out of the bush and get sort of to, to somewhere that looks like a road or a place because we don't really know where we are we've got no phone signal no satellite you know don't really want to be lost out in the middle of the bush well do we maybe we do yeah we do just thought i'd give you a little bit of sunset action because it's looking pretty specky tacky we're out here just doing the red dirt, a little bit different to Kalgoorlie dirt. It's still red, but it's quite sandy. Shandy rather than baked. There's Dazza, already looking grotty. Weather is pretty lovely. It's been beautiful today, actually. Really, really nice. As you can see, Dazza's in a t-shirt. Nice but also, no like sense, no feeling. Nice so, oh, we're about to change. What's it called? Surface. <laughs> Is this Gritchman? Jeez, there you go. Yeah, we're going to Gritchman now. Not quite gravel, not quite Gritchman. Bit of Gritchman. So we are, we still haven't made it to Laverton yet. We're sort of, I suppose we're in the Shire of Laverton. We've been doing a bit of detecting. Really, really good looking ground around here. Bit delayed because we had some issues with the batteries. For some reason, my batteries in my SDC the little battery compartment's a little bit buggered so when I put my lithium battery in there it goes a bit dodged so we did an old old bush trick in the end and managed to plonk a bit of alfoil in there and finally got the detector working so by the time I did all that I really only got probably a, an hour of the detector on the ground so found a few bits of rubbish but would like to stay but we think it's probably more important to get in and back to where we know where we are we don't want to get lost and trashed on our first day <laughs> so all in all it's not too bad how are you feeling about your first day Dezza? good grand we're going fabulous, well going great well. wonderful bring on the rock on we go tomorrow big day tomorrow we're doing 700 k tomorrow so we will catch you 